time of year they start skating a little bit more, they wonder why their hips get tight. So we're actually teaching them how to stretch and be mobile, but also fundamentally how to innervate those muscles so that they don't overuse certain other muscles and get tight. And they all report that they felt better from the beginning to the, you know, from the, beginning to the end. So those, that's how we want them to feel when they get on the ice. Today in the gym we were doing uh, some movement uh, in kind of a circuit format. Um, so we were just getting them moving, uh, doing multi-directional stuff, uh, getting a little bit of sweat going on and uh, we want to enhance their athletic ability in here and, and that's going to translate to them being more athletic and mobile and, and be able to move uh, better on the ice. They're uh, a little tired today but they're still uh, in here and uh, motivated and got some energy to, to, to do the stuff that we are doing today. So. It's really good to do uh, some quick speed, quick uh, footwork stuff in the morning. It'll be great for us. Uh, we had a lot of instruction from Schwartz today, so a lot of good recovery focus, and uh, we learned a lot. Uh, a lot of being a pro hockey player is about longevity, and uh, obviously the, the more you can uh, correct uh, your hips and uh, have your hip mobility more balanced after constantly you know, being in those goalie uh, positions or being in those player positions, the, the longer the career you'll have and I think that's uh, big especially for recovery and a long uh, pro season that uh, I'm about to endure so it's nice to learn all the tools at development camp and uh, really excited to take them and apply them to uh, my own uh, repertoire.